What's going on, Faded Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and we're back again with another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna walk y'all through my step-by-step -step process on doing a mid drop fade on my boy Jesse here, while also conserving his waves up top. With that being said, let's get started. Okay guys, so to begin, we're gonna come in with the one and a half and we're gonna knock down the top length coming with the grain. Basically just flowing the clipper in the same direction that the hair grows. Doing it this way will help conserve all his wave patterns on top. Also make sure you locate any swirls before doing this and uh, make sure you follow the direction of the swirls. Cause if you don't, you'll end up basically trimming it too short and it'll, it'll almost look like you gave him a bot spot. Once you're done with this and everything is nice and even, you're gonna come in with the zero. That's the clipper with the lever closed. And we're gonna lay down our first guideline. And since we're doing a mid drop fade, make sure the line drops as you reach the back and make sure you get it nice and clean. So take your time. Next, I'm gonna open the lever to a half and we're gonna lay down our second guideline, probably about a finger in length above our first guideline. In this case, my client had really thick hair. So a good tip when dealing with thick hair would be just kind of moving a little slower than usual. So you give uh, your clipper time to cut everything nice and even all around. And we're gonna finish taking this guideline all around to the opposite side of the head, moving parallel to the first guideline. Next, we're gonna come in with our one and a half. That's the one guard with the lever open and we're gonna lay down our next guideline. And the same thing guys, coming up about a finger in length, staying parallel to our first two guidelines. And make sure you're constantly brushing away any loose hair. That way you maintain a clean workspace throughout the whole process. Next, I'm gonna grab my two guard with the lever open, and all I'm gonna do here is basically blend up onto the top length of his hair. Now we're left with our three guidelines. We're gonna start blending them out one by one, starting with this uppermost guideline. And to do that, I'm gonna come in with my one and a half clip, lever open to about three quarters, and I'm gonna start blending out that top guideline. When blending out these guidelines, I like to angle my clipper in any direction that I need to, to get these lines blended out as smooth as possible. Also guys, if you feel like you need to open or close that lever a little bit to take out dark areas, go ahead and do so, as lever play is really essential to taking out these guidelines. So don't be scared to be moving that lever around and learn to just kind of get really familiar with it. And once you feel like you got that top guideline mostly blended out, we're going to move on with the half clip lever in the same position and we're going to start working on the middle guideline. And doing the same thing guys, kind of just using the corners of the clippers to get it blended out. As you see here, basically I'm just coming in and scooping outwards. You'll notice that with this guard, it won't take out the middle guideline completely. It'll kind of leave a little dark line right above it. But don't worry, for that we'll come back in with the one guard. Lever open in the same position. And uh, we're going to finish taking out that middle guideline. I'm always getting asked if black people hair is harder to cut. And honestly, no, if you've seen the rest of our videos on our channel, you'll notice that I use the same approach on every hair. I mean, to me, it's more like every ethnicity has its easy and hard haircuts to do but uh i mean with experience you'll kind of know how to approach every haircut as you progress
And now that that middle guideline is out, we're gonna start working on this last guideline. For that, I'll come in with the clipper lever closed, and then I'll open it halfway and then all the way, gradually opening it as I move higher into the blend. So as you see here, I'm using the lever closed all the way and using small strokes just to take out the initial start of this guideline. You see here I open it halfway and then just basically continue doing the same little small strokes moving up a little higher. And last I'm going to open the lever all the way to finish blending out this guideline. And once you get it all blended up, we're going to move on using the exact same steps on the back side and the left side of the head. Here again, starting with the lever closed, doing the same small strokes and then opening it a little bit more as you gradually move higher into the fade. And like I said guys, thick hair usually takes a little longer than usual to blend out, but uh, we're just going to keep doing the same thing consistently until we get it nice and clean. And once you're done blending out that last guideline, we're going to come in and do a little bit of touch up work. Touch up work is always going to vary from head to head, you know, towards the end of the haircut. So in this case, uh, I felt like I needed to come back in with a half clip levered open to the third quarter. And uh, I use that position to take out any dark areas that I noticed all around his head. And to better help you spot any dark areas where you might need touch up, it's a good tip to just kind of take a step back so you get a broad view of the fade and uh, help you determine any areas that might need more blending. You can even also use your mirror to help you spot any dark areas. And next I'm gonna come in with the trimmer upside down and push down on the bottom hair as this is going to leave a balder guideline and then I'll flip them right over to finish taking out the guideline that it left right above it. And the purpose for that balder guideline is you'll see right here in a little bit is for when like I finish taking out the bottom hair with the uh, with these trimmers it'll kind of leave a little faint line and it'll guide me as to how high to take my electric shavers up too high that way I'm not creating any more dark areas into the fade. So you see right here now that I'm taking out the bottom hair even as I reach the uppermost part of the hair You'll see that I kind of flick outwards too. That way I enhance that little faint line a little bit more. And like I said, that's how, that's basically gonna be our guideline as to how high to take up our electric shaver. So next, yeah, we're just gonna come in with our electric shavers to finish shaving out the bottom of the hair just so that we can get it as close to the skin as possible. And even so, if you do feel like the electric shaver might have created a little faint line, 
left behind then you can still come back in with your trimmers and just work that line back out So now that we're done with the fading process, we're gonna move forward to our lineup process. And before I start that, I like to come in with a little bit of pumps of this spritz hairspray, and then I'll quickly blow dry it down with the brush. And this is just gonna lock the hair into place so that when you come in with your trimmers, the hair just kinda chips right off. And before you start your lineup, it's always good to kinda take a step back, straighten out your client's head, and kind of visualize the hairline already in his head and then i'll come back in and basically i'll lay down my first guy line in the middle and then i'll just work my way off to the left and right side connecting them to the sides of the edge up next you're going to want to go ahead and apply a little bit of shaving gel before you come in with your straight razor and uh you'll see that i kind of tug his hair a little bit that way it helps the razor glide with ease and I always kind of shave down first and then I'll come back and shave against the grain that way we get a closer shave and it just looks that much sharper. And it's also a good tip to come back in with your straight razor and shave behind the ears since sometimes there's these hairs that are just like awkwardly there that the trimmers might miss. And you don't want to be that barber that leaves hairs right behind the ear because I promise you, you'll be haunted by the barber gods if you're that guy. So next we're just going to come in with our trimmers and kind of shape out his facial hair before I come in with my straight razor and sharpen everything right up. And same thing with this facial hair, don't be scared to really get a grip of the skin and tug it so that it's that much easier when it comes to using your straight razor. And just make sure you're using soft, gentle strokes with this straight razor, because this blade is really sharp, and if you put a good amount of pressure, you, you will end up irritating or even cutting your client. So first I'll just come in and shape out the lineup, and then I'll just shave against the grain so that we get a closer shave. I also like to give it a second pass, now that the shaving gel is mostly dry, as that just helps the light note be that much sharper and then to finish it off I'll come in with a little bit of enhancements in the end just to make that hairline pop and then I'll hit it again with a straight razor lock everything into place and yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys I'll just come in with a little bit of pomade just to give his hair a little bit of a shine and yeah this is the before and here's the after I hope y'all guys found this tutorial helpful. Let me know down in the comment sections what y'all thought about it. And uh, thank y'all for watching. Again guys, my name is Sergio Barron. This is Fader Culture. And I'm out.